Hey, it's Joe Glass, my automator. And uh, the other day I have a client who was working on something and she said she ends up pasting pictures in a lot of different places. And could we do something to automate pasting pictures? And so I remembered the script I wrote a while ago and I thought, hey, let's bring that back a bit. Let's make it a little simpler too. Let's, let's jump into the code here. I borrowed, let's see where it's down here. This, this auto, um, auto hockey forum post where you could take an image and shove it into your clipboard. And what I did was I just kind of updated my function call here to say, hey, there's, first let's back up our clipboard, right? Always nice to do instead of overriding the clipboard. Uh, next, we're gonna create the GDI. Now, the other thing I should mention here is I took before when I made this, I just included the GDI library and which has like 3000 lines. And so I said, you know what? I'm gonna go through and painstakingly, I might add, go through and pull out just what we need. So in this script, if we scroll to the bottom here, you'll see there's, it's 242 lines currently. I flattened a lot of stuff, but this is everything you need, which is nice. It's not, you know, you don't have to include it in the library. So this is a fully contained script that started up. And then I actually flattened this one where we had two calls. Now we're creating this H bitmap from this GDI, this other bitmap from the file path. Getting rid of, after you should do that, you can get rid of this, clean that up. Come on. Then now here, this is the magic sauce, right? We set the clipboard, that's this function here, which again, if you care to go look at it, I'll try to remember to put that in the description, but you'll have this in the script if you download it, so. And then sending a paste. And of course, after you send a paste, wait a bit, because if you restore the clipboard too fast, you actually get was you'll you'll paste what was originally there and it's really a screw up yeah so i'm not going to go through the rest because honestly again i don't understand it right like some of these things in here they're they're voodoo to me and and it's more because i've never really looked at it because i don't care in a in a webinar or a podcast the other day jack and i were talking through stuff and i said you're you're the mechanic like you you study the engine you know and understand all the nicks and crannies of what every little thing does i'm like i'm the driver i'm like i can turn the steering wheel and drive well meaning I don't get in the nitty gritty stuff, right? It's it's why he's a much better programmer than I am, but you know, I'm we both get the job done, right? So I borrow people's stuff a lot more and just get back to work. Uh, so here, now we're showing here, this uh, this also reload the script, but you don't need that. Let me comment that out. Now here, control one, right? I set up a hotkey to say, hey, anytime I hit control one, take this path to this file and shove it into the clipboard and then paste it. So let's bring in, I'm gonna, Launch that, and let's bring over a blank Word doc. If I hit, actually, hold on, let's say. So I'm gonna copy that to the clipboard. Now, if I hit Control-1, it is gonna paste in, there we go, paste in this picture, but look, I can hit Control-V, and it still has, the automator has the original stuff, right? Um, if I get rid of all that and hit Control-2, it's gonna paste in this other picture. So, so you can see all you have to do is, you know, create a new hotkey, shove in the path to the picture, uh, and then just, uh, that's it. I mean, it's that simple, right? So control one grabs the first one, control two grabs the second one. And of course the hotkey is whatever you want, but this, this function right here, image clip, it, it grabs everything else. So what's nice is all you got to do is this, right? In order to you know, make sure you have this in your file, but update the hotkey update this and you're good to go so hope it helps you um if you do paste a lot of images this is a great one of course you don't have to, you can just set it to go into your clipboard and then decide what you want to do with it later i thought about saying let's try to send the paste but also store the path to the file in the clipboard and that way in case the paste actually doesn't take you already have the path to the file so that's very simple to paste the path into the file which if you're uploading like to facebook or something like that that's a really great easy way to do this but uh, what i found is a lot of tools now even facebook you can paste in a picture directly into wherever you're going you don't actually have to paste the path you know click upload file and do all that stuff it's the same thing so um you know, your mileage may vary. It just depends how you want to go. Hope that helps. Uh, and if you can, please like this video. It helps me out a lot. Cheers. Have a great day.